I'm a big fan of lith plate. Uh, this is the thin lith plate. Um, but I continuously see people referring to cutting lith plate with scissors. And um, I just want to show you something. Now bear with me. Right, so I've drawn round the outline of what I want. Okay. And all I'm going to do is follow the line. Not, I'm, I'm pressing quite firmly, but not trying to go through. Follow the line. I find these number uh, 20, I think it's the 23 scalpel is best because it's a curved blade. So then, just go. So all we're doing is just heavily scoring the, uh, the surface of the metal. I don't know whether you can still see that, still in shot. And then for the straight edges, I use a ruler just to make sure it is straight. And you can see, I'm not trying to go right through it, and this is the thin stuff. So, um, so right, if we then come back a bit, and you should be able to see the score lines, I hope. So now what we do is we just bend along the line. Like and it snaps. Keep going. Work your way along. It's snapping. So go along. It's very awkward to do this when uh, right. In front of the camera here. So let me try and. Um, position myself a little bit better here so that you can still see what's going on and I can hold it because the whole sheet is flexing when I, I really want it just to flex on that line. Maybe you can see that. I usually do a tidier job than this but uh, it's always the same isn't it for the camera. And then this straight edge here, start at the, the outboard edge, just lightly bend it it around. And it's flexed. Going along. And there you have it. Now normally a piece of metal is perfectly flat. I got a little bit, um, I went a bit awry there. So, But as you can see, it's still much flatter than if you'd used scissors. Much flatter. Alright, cheers.